So what I want to share with, uh, with my human family now is the next major events um, that are pending on our planet and uh, why, why would there be some more major events to come? Our consciousness is expanding at such an exponential rate. It is very, very challenging and difficult and you know, literally impossible for, um, in many, for many people um, for their awareness and their consciousness to be contained any longer in the current programs that are being implemented on the planet. So if you look back over something like 9-11 and you can see, well, it's obvious to many, that that was a, a pretty good attempt at a global mind control effort. But what's pending is another major mind control event. It's going to be big. It's going to make 9-11 look like a little baby. What are the possible scenarios? Because I don't, I cannot say definitely this is the one it's going to be, this is when it's going to happen, and this is how it's going to play out. But I do have some possible scenarios that I want to share. And one of them uh, is being entertained at the moment is a fake alien invasion. And then what, what's going to defend us from this fake alien invasion? Is it going to be good ETs, so-called good ETs that will come in and save us from the bad guys? So what have we got, a scenario here of bad cop, good cop? You know, we're still contained within the, you know, the control structures of even the good cop. Another one to look at is to do with Comet Elliman. And it's fascinating how the flyby between the, the Earth and the Sun is coordinated with specific dates, uh, ritualistic dates. That's fascinating how, you know, because obviously that's no accident. This is not a freak of nature that this thing is happening. Uh, this is designed that way and was placed in that trajectory. And then we look at the red dwarf star that's approaching. And there's plenty of evidence for that as well. When this thing comes along, it's designed to get all the attention, to distract people from their own path within themselves, to distract people from reconnecting within themselves and understanding who and what we are as a human race on this planet and remembering at a critical time our relationship with our Earth Mother and the solar system and this galaxy. The one key ingredient to introduce into all of this is also what is the most major mind control program on the planet at the moment? What, if you were to choose a program that has more minds captured within it, contained within that program than any other minds on the planet currently, then it would have to be religion. It has already got its tentacles into at least half, definitely more than half, you know. We're looking at two thirds, we're looking at least four billion people whose minds are already immersed and captured and contained within the mind control problem program of a religious of religious dogma. To me, religious deities appearing is really big on the cards and with all the interactions that I've had off world with these beings and interdimensionally, they're coming to harvest their herd. They they are who they are because of, of the energy that's being fed through worship. So it's, we're a very, very, very valuable resource to them and they are not going to let go of that in a hurry. And they're going to sell, 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 sell their agenda through glamour, through many different techniques. Spiritual glamour, oh my goodness, that has got to be one of the most tantalising <laughs> techniques that get used by these entities. Please don't fall for it. That's all I've got to say. Is don't be so naive, don't be so gullible. And when you go within, the energy that you feel in here, whether you want to call it your Christ center or your Buddha center or your Krishna center, that's deep inside each and every one of us, that vibration and that flavor of love, what that love feels like, always use that as a point of reference. Because you will see how different it is to the love that these beings emanate and propagate.